As many of you are undoubtedly aware of at this point, Steam Gaming has come to Chrome OS. Well, sort of anyway. It's like in an alpha stage, it's being tested and all this stuff, and it's only really available on a handful of Chromebooks. And we've already done a video showing you what it looks like up and running. It's, it's fun to use, but I personally have not gone through the steps to get this all working. And I would say a lot of you are out there probably trying to figure those steps out for yourself. So we figured let's make a video walking through those steps and getting Steam up and running on an eligible Chromebook. Okay, so we're gonna start off right on the Chrome Unboxed website where we already have kind of detailed some of these uh, steps. And again, the video that we made prior to this, uh, we did this on a Chromebook that Gabe had gone through and done all the setup process on. So I didn't, I didn't really get a chance to do any of this stuff. The only one we have here in the office that fits that description is the Asus Chromebook CX-9. Uh, and you'll see here uh, on the website, we have the list of current supported Chromebooks. And that list is going to change. That's not going to stay stagnant. We're not going to be stuck with the exact same thing forever. But right now in this alpha stage as we're testing, these are the Chromebooks. They are the Acer Chromebook 514, uh, the 515, the Spin 713, the CX-5, CX-9 from Asus, HP Pro C640, and then the Lenovo 5i14. And so the, the variations of any of those Chromebooks are going to have to have the Intel 11th gen processors inside because you need the GPU on board with them. And so devices like the CX-5, for instance, that come with an i3, it is 11th gen uh, and it's nice and fast and that's great, but the i3 doesn't have the upgraded GPU needed to push these games. So uh, it's gonna have to be a Core i5 or higher and 11th gen Intel processor. So if you're, if you're looking at buying a device that you wanna like start playing Steam on right now and you're looking at this list, uh, make sure that the device you buy has at least a Core i5 in it. And it, again, it's got to be 11th gen Intel. So scrolling on down this article, uh, towards the center here, we've got the steps. And again, like I said, I'm gonna just kind of go through these uh, uh, right along here with you. Now, what I will say is you have to have your Chromebook in developer channel. It's not developer mode, so you're not you know, uh, losing any of the security of your device, but you do need to be in the dev channel. And so in the event that you've never done that, I'm not sure that um, going into doing all of the Steam gaming testing is probably for you, but hey, maybe this is the first thing you wanna do that's kinda in this vein. So uh, I'm gonna walk you through doing that. You're gonna go to your settings here. And then uh, under about Chrome OS, um, you're gonna go to additional details. And right here is a button where you can change channel and you were gonna select developer. Uh, you're gonna select accept at that point. And when you do that, it's going to start downloading it. When you're upgrading to developer channel, no big deal. It's gonna restart your Chromebook and you'll be in the dev channel. You're not gonna lose anything. But the minute you decide to go back, uh, it will wipe your device and it will power wash it. So just know that going in, uh, you'll lose stuff when you revert. You're not gonna lose stuff when you move to the dev channel. Uh, it could be a little buggy. Uh, if this is your daily driver Chromebook and something you need for work and all that kind of stuff, I would caution you again against doing this. But you could do it, try it, power wash your device, re-sign in and get back to, you know, get back to square uh, pretty quickly. Uh, if, if you do just want to give this a chance. Okay, so step two is we actually need to uh, turn on the Borealis flag. So Borealis is the code name for this whole Steam on Chromebook. So in order to do that, we're going to open up a new tab. You're going to type Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and it will open up a new window. Again, this is after you've moved to the dev channel, so make, you, make sure you are in the dev channel. Um, and as you can see in the post here, it's uh, forward slash Borealis enabled. Uh, you can put that exactly in if you want to, or you can just search for Borealis once you're in here. Um, and it's Borealis enabled, so it's this final flag down here. There, there may be new flags in here the next time. All of these may be gone. It's the dev channel, so stuff's gonna move in and out of there. This is the one flag you really need to turn on, Borealis enabled down here at the bottom. I'm gonna set that to enabled. It's gonna ask me if I want to restart Chrome OS. And at this point, obviously, that's what you gotta do. So go ahead and click that button and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now we've got developer mode on, we've got the flags in place. Step three now is after restarting, we need to open a cross terminal. So Control-Alt-T will do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna move this actually over to a separate desk just so we can kind of bounce back and forth. Uh, we're gonna open the, the terminal. So I've got that, it should look like this here on the screen. And then the next step is we're gonna type this. So instead of messing with this, I'm just gonna copy that. So to insert here, uh, you can actually just press your right mouse button and it's gonna actually insert what you have copied. And then we're gonna click enter. 
uh, and this this little uh, graphic down here is is fun uh, that they took the time to make a little uh, uh, arcade machine. But anyway, uh, we're not going to stay stuck on that. We're going to go and hit install. And again, like remember this this thing once it's not behind a flag, once it's not in an experimental mode, you're not going to have to do any of this stuff. There's just going to be an option probably in the settings somewhere just like there is for Linux apps and Android apps. You want to install Steam? Cool. Click the button and this thing is going to come up. It's going to set up Steam. So uh, we'll cut away real quick while this is doing this uh, because you probably don't want to sit and watch a progress bar move across the screen. Okay. Well, that didn't take very long at all. It says you're all set. Enjoy your gaming on your Chromebook. They probably need to fix that. Enjoy your gaming. That's a weird sentence, but enjoy your games maybe is what they're going for. Anywho, alpha, right? This, is, this isn't ready yet. So I'm gonna go click launch and just see what happens here. Uh, updating Steam, that looks good. I'm gonna close this shell back here. It always pops this up whenever you go to close the Chroma shell. Yes, you wanna leave, it's fine. Uh, so right now I've got Steam running uh, in this uh, particular desk here. Updating Steam does take just a minute, and then I'm going to have to log into Steam. Uh, if you've never used Steam before, uh, this you'll have to create an account and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, I'm not going to punch in my, my account details here on camera. So uh, as soon as this updates, this is going to be the, the general... Uh, you know, normal startup stuff for Steam that we're going to see here. So once we get logged into Steam, uh, we'll cut back and continue and show you this thing actually up and running. And a quick note, while this is going, obviously we've really revved up the CPUs here. So the fans are kicking on. Uh, that's just going to be a normal case whenever you're uh, running games or anything like that. If, if you use your Chromebook in such a way where your fans don't kick on very often, you start running some games on here, you're going to hear those fans. Okay, just like that, it took just a couple minutes. Again, the CX-9 has got a Core i7 in it, so uh, it's not hurting for performance in any way. But once it finishes up, uh, as you can see here on the screen, everything's here the way you would expect it to be. So um, sometimes with these containerized things, stuff runs on, on Chromebooks in strange ways. Like some of these pop-up windows would be in like another window or something. Not the case here. This this looks completed completely native because generally speaking, it basically is here. Uh, the the container, the Borealis container that's running um, Steam is custom built, and made just for this purpose right here. So it can take full advantage of the GPU and all that kind of stuff. And again, we've made a video showing you actually games running on this. This was more about getting this up and running. Uh, but I'm logged in. I'm gonna close some of these extra little windows that Steam always loves to pop up. And let's go full screen here. And as you can see, you know my uh, my favorites. Are are over here on the side I go to my uh, go to my library and you know decide to install I don't know let's uh, just so you can see one installing we'll go counter-strike global offensive and uh, we want to go to this computer sure I'll click install I've got disk space available we just wiped this thing so I've got half a terabyte on here but it's gonna take up 27 gigs I'm gonna go to next and you can start see it installing and again if you've ever been in steam you know that this is exactly how things work i can look down here in my downloading i can see this game beginning to download uh it's going to take a little bit of time but it'll work and again i've referenced the other video that we made about this if you want to actually see this up and running because all we wanted to do here was show you how to get from i haven't done anything to 100 percent having steam installed and up and running and as you can see, it didn't take very long. I was even talking through this whole thing. If I was just concentrating and doing this, it was a handful of minutes and Steam is up and running. So even though we're in an alpha stage here, it's really encouraging to see all of this working together so quickly, so seamlessly. And as they really work out the bugs, and there come those fans again, as they really work out the bugs here, I mean, this is going to be a really great experience for Chromebook users that want to go and purchase a device, maybe to get work done on, sure, but hey, I want to do some some decent gaming on this thing as well. And hopefully down the road, we'll start seeing Chromebooks with discrete GPUs inside that are built, yeah, to get your normal stuff done. But yeah, this is also built to do some really high-end Steam gaming. And who would have thought on a Chromebook? Uh, that we'd have this and that it would it would work so seamlessly even in an alpha build but guys uh, that's it for this one uh, hopefully if you've got a chromebook that this runs on you can uh, hop in there follow these steps and get this up and running for yourself enjoy some steam gaming and help the community make this whole thing better but again that's it for this one if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up head down there hit the subscribe button ring that notification icon as well if you liked what you saw here and you want to see future videos just like this one Till next time we'll see you